Hey guys, today I want to talk about the Nude Sticks Magnetic Nude Glimmer Highlighter. So this is a new highlighter formula that's come out from Nude Sticks. It is 30 Canadian dollars or 28 US dollars and you get 0.34 ounces or 10 milliliters of product. So they came out with three shades. Um, first they have Bronze Eye Babe, which is a kind of deep bronze color. Then they have 24K Goddess, which is a gold, and then 99% Angel, that's the one that I got. It's like a champagne color. So I'm just gonna show you how I used it. I put it on my cheeks, my eyes, and my lips. Not on my lips right now. Uh, you'll just have to see what happened with that. <laughs> All right, so the only thing I have on my face right now is the Smashbox Primerizer. I didn't put down a glowy base or anything, so. So we're basically starting with nothing, just some moisture. So I wanted to try and mix this in with my foundation. I'm not sure how it's gonna work, but we're gonna give it a go. Um, so I'm gonna use my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Mine is the shade L2. I wouldn't say this foundation is even overly radiant. It's like a natural kind of skin finish and then it gets dewier as the day goes on, but it's not radiant in itself. I'm just going to like smear, I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm just gonna smear some on my hand. So I got a bit on my hand and a couple drops foundation. I'm going to just kind of mix that up. Okay, I got my foundation on. I tried mixing in like a little bit. It didn't make a huge difference. Um, it was more just to see how a little bit would look. I totally could have added more, but it's fine. Then I put powder underneath my eyes and then just added some bronzer. Now I'm gonna go in with the liquid highlighter. I think I'm gonna just tap it on my cheeks and then blend it out with my beauty blender. So I've just kind of tapped it there. And it's just not blending out at all. <sighs> I'm gonna try with my finger. Okay, I think finger is totally the way to go. That looks really pretty. So that is just a really subtle glow and I'm gonna try and build it up because they say you should be able to do that. I'll let it dry first. I'm going to do the other side now. Can't see that one as much. I'm just going for it now. Okay, so here is the one layer. I'm just gonna try and build it up a bit. They say you can build it to be like foiled and metallic. So let's see. Here it is built up a bit. I don't know if I would say metallic. I mean, well, it's not glittery, there's that. I'd say it looks kind of like a, I guess metallic, yeah. It looks kind of like a wet metallic, you know? Okay, that looks really nice. It's definitely not glittery. I don't know if I would say metallic. It's definitely kind of wet looking and kind of glossy. It does look really nice. I'm going to skip ahead and I'm gonna do my eyebrows and kind of get a base shadow going and then I'm gonna try and put this on my eyes. Okay, I did my brows and then I just took the shade Naked from the Naked palette and just kind of did a light little dusting over my eyes so that I had a base to put uh, the highlighter on. I think I'm just gonna take a tiny bit on my finger and then just dot it on. Mm -hmm. 
So I don't know if you can see, but it kind of barely looks like anything's there. I'm just going to go all in now. So that's kind of what I added there. And I'm going to blend that out. Well, there you go. It just looks really light and glossy. Yeah, it looks really nice and light. It makes my eye look way brighter. You can tell the difference between this eye and this eye. This eye just looks bright and it's just so, it's just a really effortlessly pretty look, you know? I think it looks very nice. Okay, right now I have on the Too Faced lipstick, um, Sunday Fun Day, one of those peach kiss ones. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this on my finger and dot it on my lips. It says eyes, lips, and face. I'm just gonna cover all my bases and try it like everywhere. then. That's not my favorite look ever. I can see how it would be nice on some lipsticks. Not this one. Well, I mean, I guess here's the finished look. I don't know. Um, got it on my face, on my eyes, and on my lips. I just don't look at my lips. <laughs> I think I prefer it on my eyes out of everywhere. It's just nice and brightening. It makes my eyes look really awake. And I like that this makes my eyes look wet and glossy without actually being wet and glossy. Like, they're completely dried to the touch. I can touch it and it won't move, but I really like the look. There's nothing worse in my opinion than the feeling of like a wet eyelid. I hate it so much. I don't know how people do it. It's so gross to me, but this kind of gives that effect. I mean, it's not exactly the same effect. It's like a mixture of like a candlelight kind of glow, but also kind of wet. I do like it on my cheeks too. I like that you can build it up kind of to what you want. You really don't have to be afraid to use too much product. Like I put on quite a bit of product and it doesn't really look heavy. It blends out so nice. You can really go to town with this and then it still looks like a natural kind of highlighter for what it is. I mean, obviously it's not natural, but you know what I mean. You can put a lot on and it doesn't look overdone. It just looks more glossy and more radiant as you go. So I do love that. On my lips, I don't know. I don't think I would ever wear this on my lips, to be honest. So this is a nice product, but $30 is kind of like, it's a lot of money for what you get, I think. I mean, it's pretty, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's up to you whether or not you wanna spend that kind of money on this product. Personally, I know I can get similar looks with other products, so I don't know. It's not a necessity, but it's kind of like a nice to have product, you know? Okay, this is just for fun because I'm gonna be taking this makeup off right now, but I just wanted to layer it up on my eyes and see how foiled I could get it. Like just layer it up and not blend it out and see what happens. <laughs> So this is just, I wiped it one layer on my eye. I don't know, I kind of like this side better because it's just more soft. Although this does make my eye look really nice and bright. Well, I'm just gonna do both of them now. <laughs> Okay, I take it back. This looks better than what I had on before. <laughs> so ignore the edges. I didn't really blend the edges out, but just looking at that color, it's like glossy and wet and metallic, like all at the same time. It's so nice. I can definitely see what they mean by like candlelit glow, build it up, get to the foil because before it was really soft and glowy and now it's like totally metallic. My footage is just gonna be all over the place before I'm jumping around like crazy, but that's fine. I think overall, I prefer it on my eyes the best. And that's not to say that it looks bad on my cheeks or anything. I just like kind of the look of the eyes. 
the more I look at it, the more I like it. So there you have it. Uh, that's all I have for today's video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.